Hey guys, uh, just got back from golfing. I injured my thumb. I was I was driving the golf cart. I was flying down this super steep hill. I hit a bump. It was more like a jump, and the cart just took off flying. I fell out of the cart, and the cart just kept on going, and it it ran over my thumb. Actually, I just was swinging a golf club too many times. Anyways, embarrassing stories. I've had a lot of embarrassing moments in my life. I think I'm known for awkward moments. There are a lot of awkward moments for me in churches for some reason. It must be my calling of awkwardness. This one time at church, me and my brother Josh and his friends um, went to this worship service. So we get there and it's it's pretty dark in the room. So let me just let me just start off with that. Like you couldn't really see much. They're playing music and they're like, hey, um, we're doing communion. So when you feel led, go do communion. And so communion, you just take the bread, eat the bread, and you drink the juice um, or wine, whatever. So we're in the middle of worship. Josh goes back. He gets communion. He comes back. I go up there. And there was a line before, but when I got up there, there wasn't a line. So I'm just like, okay, I'll just go. There's two different people standing next to each other. One has the juice, one has the bread. And so I just go to the person with the bread first. And you couldn't really hear, so he like said something, but I just ate the bread. And so I like step on over to the next person, and she has this goblet of juice. And I was like, what? What am I supposed to do? Because usually I have little, little cups that you drink out of. But it was a goblet that was big. It was like as big as my face. And so I'm like standing there, I was like, supposed to do no one's saying anything we're just staring at each other and this went on for like a minute or two like literally and so she's just standing there and i'm standing there facing her she like flinches and so as she flinches i thought she was giving me the goblet and so i grab it with with her hands and i just i drink it and it's covering my whole face i give it back to her that is not sanitary i don't know why everyone did that i get back and sit down and i was like and then Josh is like, Josh, Josh, what what did you do? And he's like, what What are you talking about? I was like, what did you do? Like, what did you do for communion? And he's like, I took the bread, I dipped it in, and I ate it. And I was like, oh my goodness. And so he's like, what did you do? I said, I took the bread and ate it, and then I, I drank out of the, the glass. I was so embarrassed. I just like put my hood up, and I like sat there, and I was like, we need to go. We get up in the middle of in the middle of the service. We just start walking out, and as we're walking out, I see the two people who gave me communion, and they're like pointing at me, like, "Oh, that guy, that guy over there," and all these people are gathered around him, all the leaders, and they're like pointing out. And I just had my hood up, and I walked out. I will always be remembered as the goblet drinker.